Hi guys, so welcome to the first actual build video. So we're building a full size version of this 3D printed model. First stage was to lay out the plan. So I don't know if you can get an idea of scale but this is 15 foot long. And that's taken straight from this plan here so we use that that drawing to lay out all the measurements it's actually three plan drawings in total now the next stage you can see there that we're doing the hull that's the 3d model split up in cross sections and then we've got the cross sections all the angles and measurements so I can transfer these cross sections onto wood then they get laid out along these marks I don't know if that will show up on the plan so I'll cut these the cross sections for the sponsons are all cut out now what I've got to do next is to follow this curve I need to cut out a little square in this corner on each of the cross sections so I can bend this bit of pine round so the edge follows nicely for the other edge um, a flat piece of ply gets cut out with that curve along it I'll show you on the model to make it clearer so it's effectively this piece down here. So I'll notch out these for the pine, then cut out the sides of the sponsons and show you where we are after that. That's the front cross sections all cut out now and they're actually glued together too. You see what I was trying to explain badly earlier with the sides of the Swansons. Looking pretty cool now I think. Show you how this all goes together. I made one one mistake which was to cut out this bit here where it shouldn't have had one on that piece because flat up against this goes that cross section which has more of an angle up here for the start of the main body of the hull so I'm going to have to glue in a piece of wood to fill in that bit but no major problem I'll get a shot there showing how these bits all line up and a bit of pine will go in there. So the next bit to do is the cross sections across the back half of a hull.
that sort of uh, rear cross sections put together now. You saw in the end of that last bit, I just stuck in the pine stringers. I haven't pushed them all the way down all along just because it's a bit of a tight fit in places. So I don't want to push it down when I have trouble getting it out. I'll uh, push it all the way in when, the, when I've got the glue in there. So I'll, uh, I'll test fit these pine bits. These will be a bit harder to get in because these have quite a curve to them. Whereas the middle one's dead straight. And there's just a very slight curve on the edge ones. But yeah, it's looking, looking good. front bit all done now just um, these stringers left to do I managed to get that one in alright this one I've glued down but I won't try and put it in till the glue's actually dried on it uh, it might break when I try and put it down so I may have to steam it but it's only cheap wood so if I break it trying it's not too much trouble and one left to put in there but I don't have enough wood now so that's oh, sorry hands on the way that's uh that's the end of this video in the uh, next episode I'm gonna be skinning it in six mil plywood and uh, start filling up the corners as well getting ready to take the mold from it so thanks very much for watching guys um, I've enjoyed doing it I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me as well so please subscribe to the channel and uh, see you later.